Los Angeles, 1937. There are lots of guys like J.J. Gittes. They're easy to find, if you want to find them. Mr. Gittes, have we ever met? Well, no. Never? Never. Since you agree with me that we've never met before, you must also agree with me that I've never hired you to do anything, certainly not spy on my husband. I don't get tough with anyone, Mr. Giddies. My lawyer does. You do your job. And sometimes you find the answers to questions that should never be asked. Or you find out what happens to people who ask them. All in the night, kitty cat. You're a very nosy fellow, kitty cat, huh? You know what happens to a nosy fellow? Oh. I dislike the word cheat. Did you have affairs? But Mr. Giddies. Did he know about it? Where were you when your husband died? You were seeing someone, too. For very long? I don't see anyone for very long, Mr. Giddies. It's difficult for me. Mr. Giddies, you're dealing with a disturbed woman who just lost her husband. I don't want to take an advantage of. and Faye Dunaway in a Robert Evans production of a Roman Polanski film, Chinatown. Vertigo, a feeling of dizziness, a swimming in the head. Figuratively, a state in which all things seem to be engulfed in a whirlpool of terror, as created by Alfred Hitchcock in the story that gives new meaning to the word suspense. beautiful girl haunted by the desperate, unexplainable urge to destroy herself. A man possessed by the paralyzing vertigo that made him afraid of high places. Easy now. I oh, know, I oh, know. Ah, well, it's a cinch. Yeah, I look up, I look down. I look up, I look... What was the strange attraction that brought these two together in spite of the dark forces that tore them apart? The specter from the past that drew her to the ancient headstone in the mission graveyard. The compulsion that drove her relentlessly to the point of no return. The story of a love so powerful it broke down all barriers between past and present, between life and death, between the golden girl in the dark tower and the tawdry redhead that he tried to remake in her image. If I let you change me, will that do it? If I do what you tell me, will you love me? Yes. All right. All right, then I'll do it. They don't care anymore about me.
On the point of that knife, a man's life is at stake. I'm just saying it's possible. And I say it's not possible. I want you to watch this because I don't want to have to do it again. I'll make myself about six or seven inches shorter, okay? It's about right. Maybe a little more. Okay, a little more. What's up? what I think happened. How can I be positive about anything? I don't understand you people. I mean, all these picky little points you keep bringing up, they don't mean nothing. You are going to try a man for murder. The awesome power to kill will suddenly be thrust into your hands. Watch them and pray, for someday you may become one of them. Twelve men with the smell of violent death in their nostrils. What's the matter with you guys? You're letting them slip through our fingers. Slip through our fingers? Are you his executioner? You cut it. Ever since you walked into this room, you've been acting like a self-appointed public avenger. Shut up. You're a sadist. Twelve men turned into twelve clawing animals. Kill them all. Kill them. All. Kill them. an advertising man, not a red herring. I've got a job, a secretary, a mother, two ex-wives, and several bartenders dependent upon me. And I don't intend to disappoint them all by getting myself slightly killed. Cary Grant becomes a secret agent against his will. Propelled at gunpoint onto the highest level of international intrigue and framed for murder. Cary Grant, running for his life, searching for a man who doesn't exist, and a secret nobody knows, and finding a blonde who has all the answers. Hello there. Tell me, why are you so good to me? Shall I climb up and tell you why? At breakneck speed, they race together toward the excitement that lies dead ahead, north by northwest. How do I know you aren't a murderer? You don't. Cary Grant, Eva Marie Saint, and James Mason as the man of sinister surprises. Apparently, the only performance that will satisfy you is when I play dead. In your very next role, you'll be quite convincing, I assure you. The perfect setup for suspense. With the perfect woman and the perfect crime, as Alfred Hitchcock takes you north by Northwest.